Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by to check out this video, which if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you will know is something a little bit different. Today we're going to be doing a vlog. It's my first vlog of 2022 and I'm starting as I mean to go on because I want to do more vlogs on this channel, bring you guys behind the scenes, kind of involving you more in my life as a professional guitarist, as a session guitarist, a sideman, whatever you want to call it. So tomorrow I have my first recording session of the year. It's an acoustic session at a new studio that I haven't been to before. So I thought it'd be the best opportunity to kickstart this form of content. This vlog is basically gonna show you a little bit of insight into my thought process, what kind of goes through my head when I'm on the session and what actually takes place during a recording session because some of you might be experiencing that field Others might not be, and it might just be something that you're interested in. So I hope this video is going to tick all those boxes. So I need to finish getting the acoustic ready, get it all set up and ready to go, and then I will check in with you guys in the morning. Foxbound Studios, day one of tracking. So this is actually a project that is not my own. Um, I've just been hired to play guitar on a series of songs. So the guy's name is Tony. Tony is great. And the project name is Broken Heart University. So I'm the guitarist. We've done a couple of albums already, but this is the first one that I've really started to kind of co-produce. So we've got myself, we've got Dan Logan, who is producing and playing drums, and Ashley. So this is Ashley. Ashley, explain what you're doing. We're recording the uh the guitar tracks, some of the guitar tracks, and also the guide vocals. So I'm doing some singing and um, I'm patting Chris on the back for playing such amazing guitar. Duh. I didn't even pay her to say that. Not yet. So before we actually start recording anything, we are going to go through some of the songs just in the control room just to make sure that everyone's happy. Uh, me and Ash actually kind of wrote these together in terms of the chords and the structures, but Dan's going to be hearing them for the first time today. So we kind of run through everything first just to make sure we're all happy with the arrangements, BPM, all that stuff. And then that's when I'll come into here and pick up the guitar and record it. And then behind the camera, Ash is going to be recording her guide vocals as well just so that I can follow that. And for the other musicians later on, they'll have everything in terms of a full song to lay down their parts to, which is the easiest way of doing things really. So this is my world. This is where I'm going to be hanging out. So I've got my headphones here, which trying a few different mics out for a few of the different songs. Um, this kind of blue microphone is a condenser. Um, it's kind of vintagey, which is nice and gives it a really warm sound. And on the acoustic that I'm playing on some of the more Americana bluesy stuff, it just has a really nice sound. And um, we've also got my Martin 
which is the Martin DX1. Um, it's quite an old one. You can see here that um, it's been been through some stuff. And this is one of the last USA made DX1s before it all got moved over to um, Mexico, I think it was. So um, yeah, that's the rig. That's what we're working with. So let's start actually going through some of these songs. Oh, that's what it was. It's the eight bar. It's that at the end. So like, pretend this is the end of the chorus now. Da, da, da. next song and um, yeah we're using a Neumann KM 184 which is like a small diaphragm condenser which sounds really nice on this guitar for like finger picky stuff so um yeah let's let's get some okay songs. I am ready <laughs> So before the session, I actually got everything charted out. So a big tip for anyone who is looking to do session work is just to make sure that you're prepared. So I have lyric sheets for every song that we're doing, and then a chart, which is basically more for the musicians. So documenting kind of number of bars, chords, what the chords are, etc. And um, yeah, just pays to be prepared. <laughs> Cool. Can you just play just so I can hear the levels again, just to make sure we're, we're good? Yeah, now we're cool. Perfect. Ready for a take whenever you are. Cool. what's been a really really enjoyable day I just thought I would kind of do a bit of a debrief a bit of an outro to this video and explain a little bit more about how I thought the session went and explain a bit more what I was feeling during the day which maybe didn't come across on camera now anyone who has done session work before or for anyone who's looking to get into session work you will know that the nature of music and performance is something that is sometimes left into the kind of hands of fate and chance and you can prepare and prepare and prepare but there are just certain things that happen that are out of our control you know you might have picked up the guitar one day and you just feel like you're not on it or the next day could be completely the same circumstances but you're playing better than you've ever played i mean guitar and music and performance is just really weird that way we all have our good and bad days and it's the same when it comes to recording. I mean, recording is a bit of an art form in itself. 
there are people who are amazing guitarists, but when they come to record, they kind of freeze up or they just feel like it's a very alien experience. And I have kind of definitely been through all that. And now I feel really comfortable when it comes to recording. And there are probably other things that I need to focus on on my guitar playing side of things. But in the studio is where I'm really, really comfortable. In the same way that a great guitar tone can motivate you and inspire your playing, having a great headphone mix in the studio is pretty much the same kind of thing. If things sound really balanced, if everything is, you know, in terms of levels, really, really nice in that kind of sweet spot where you can hear everything and there's nothing that sounds muffled or unexpected, it makes such a huge difference. And today everything was just, yeah, was just working really well. But it's definitely something that you should all bear in mind because when things feel good, it just makes the performance so much better. And if you are in a position where you're not feeling it, if the mix is wrong or you think something doesn't sound right, don't feel like, you know, that's what it has to be. You can always ask the question and ask to change things and change the levels of certain things. And it's not something that you should feel bad about because music is a very, it's a very tangible thing when you play it, especially on guitar. You're very much interacting with the sound and with the instrument and things need to sound right in order for that to work. I'm really looking forward to the next session. It's probably going to be in a few weeks time that I get to kind of do all the electric parts, which is going to be the really fun stuff. That's going to be where we come up with, you know, riffs or individual parts or tracking guitar solos and instrumentals and things like that. And that is definitely something that I'm going to vlog as well. So that's going to come on the channel. So probably going to be in a month or so. So if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed this vlog and you're looking forward to the next one in the same way that I'm looking forward to making it, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when I upload. As I say, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for coming along with me today to kind of experience this session. It's been really, really fun. Looking forward to the next one. And I will see you all next week for another video.